This is the bike that Tadej Pogacar rode to win the 2021 Tour de France and the 2022 World Championship. This is Colnago V4RS, the successor of the V3RS, already a proven race winner. But how fast is the Colgano V4RS? And why is it the first choice of professional cyclists? In this video, I'll break down the amazing features and specs of the new road racer Colnago V4RS. A bike perhaps best left to the professionals. So, watch the video till the end, you'll be amazed by this new cycling giant. Let's get started. Colnago unveiled the latest iteration of its V-Series Aero all-around road racer, the V4RS. The Colnago V4RS is already a very impressive bike with a lot of new features. Colnago claims that the V4RS is lighter, stiffer, and more aerodynamic than the V3RS. Colnago V4RS has a new carbon layup, a redesigned fork and seat post, and a more integrated cockpit. The V4RS weighs only 6.8 kilograms for a size 50 with Shimano Dura Ace D2 and Vision Metron 55 SL wheels. That's very light for a disc brake bike. Despite the modest changes in shape, Colnago claims the V4RS is a fair bit more aerodynamic than the V3RS. According to data released by Colnago, the V4Rs require 5.2W less power to maintain 50 km per hour than the V3Rs for the bike alone with the same wheels. Using the industry-accepted weighted average drag protocol that accounts for multiple yaw angles. If you add in a rider, that gap supposedly jumps to 13.2 watt. A significant improvement for sure. But weight is not everything. The V4RS also has some impressive numbers when it comes to stiffness and aerodynamics. Colnago says that the V4RS has a 12% increase in head tube stiffness, a 10% increase in bottom bracket stiffness, and a 5% increase in lateral stiffness compared to the V3RS. That means more power transfer and more precise handling. The V4RS also has a 5% reduction in drag at 45 km per hour thanks to a new fork design, a slimmer seat post, and an integrated handlebar. That means more speed for less effort. But how does it ride? The V4RS feels very responsive and agile but also very stable and smooth. It accelerates like a rocket, climbs like a goat, and descends like a falcon. It's hard to find any fault with this bike. It's comfortable enough for long rides and stiff enough for sprints and attacks. It's aerodynamic enough for flat roads but also light enough for hills. It's simply a joy to ride. So, is the Colnago V4RS the fastest bike in the world? Well, that's hard to say for sure because there are many factors that affect speed, such as rider skill, fitness, terrain, weather, etc. But one thing's about V4RS is sure and that's, it's one of the best bikes chosen by professional cyclists. It's a masterpiece of engineering and design and a worthy successor of Colnago's legendary heritage. If you want to get your hands on one of these beauties, You'll have to be quick and lucky because they are very limited and very expensive. The V4RS starts at $13,000 for a frame set only and goes up to $18,000 for a complete bike with Dura Ace D2. That's a lot of money for a bike, but if you can afford it, you won't regret it. The Colnago V4RS is one of the best bikes in today's cycling world. It's fast, light, stiff, aero, comfortable, and beautiful. It's no wonder that Pogachar chose it to dominate the peloton. If you're looking for a bike that can do it all, look no further than the Colnago V4RS. I hope you enjoyed something new in this video. If you did, 
please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bike reviews. And let me know in the comments. What do you think of the Colnago V4 RS? Is it worth the hype? Is it the fastest bike in the world? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.